So let's look at some of these AI art pieces that's already sold, and maybe that will inspire you to create your own custom GPT to create AI art using chat GPT. Now, let's check out this one right here. It says sold. We're going to view it. This one was sold for 30 bucks. That's pretty cool. We're going to come back. And these are places that you can sell your AI art. So a lot of these are selling. This is just the AI art gallery section right here. Then we come to this site. So that site was AI uh, art shop. This site right here is called RC. And as you can see, you can sell your art the same way as the other one. And you can just take a look at some of the AI art that's been produced. Never in history has art been more readily available to be sold than now. Because back in the day, a lot of the artists didn't get famous until they died, right? So this is Artsy. Then we have this one right here called I Am Five. Start making money from your AI art. And you can just come and check it out. So now what are we going to do? We're going to feed information, all the information we need about custom GPT, AI art creation on this page. And we're going to plug it into the custom GPT builder inside chat GPT. So what do I mean? You need to have the plus model or GPT-4 in order to access this on the explore page right here. Watch this. It says create a GPT. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little bit of information. We want to create an AI art uh, profit profits predictor. I think that's how you spell predictor. <laughs> predictor uh, prediction tool that uses trends and the previously sold AI art uh, to uh, help AI artists come up with highly, would come up with AI art ideas that will highly, I'll say more than likely sell on market places and galleries. You will use the uh, Dolly 3 AI art generator that is in your uh, capabilities to generate AI art from users of this tool. Okay, so now we just told uh, this custom GPT builder like what the purpose and what we want the capabilities of this GPT to be that is going to be able to create AI art that we will then be able to go and sell over here on places like I on, on AI art shop and, you know, artsy and I am fi. Okay. So let's come back over here. So it says for this GPT, how about the name art trend predictor? No, that sucks. We're going to say AI art, AI art Miyagi. Or is it say AI Miyagi? No, we just say AI Art Miyagi is the name. Okay, that's the name for now. We can always come back through a little bit later and change it, but we want it to be like a Miyagi because I have a whole bunch of Miyagi tools and custom GPTs that I already created with the name Miyagi in there. Okay, so right now it's generating like a profile picture, AKA a logo. And you can always change this if you want to. Or tell it no. Okay. No. Don't like it. Try again, please. All right. So while it's doing that, trying to figure it out, we want to program our custom GPT to know everything about Dolly 3 because that is what GPD, what uh, Chat GPT uses to create the imagery. So we're going to uh, uh, get some custom tutorials. We're going to get some custom tutorials 
off of YouTube and like train our custom GPT. So we're going to take the link for this one, how to create, edit, and profit from Dolly 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into YouTube transcript. All right. And we're going to get the transcript. And we're going to put it over here. So it says everything needed to program uh, my AI art generator tool. Okay. All right. Paste. So we got that one video right there. Then we want to come over here and get another one. All of these are tutorials for Dolly 3 and how to best use it and everything. All right. So we want to put as much information as we possibly can from Dolly 3 in here. Then we're going to get information for how to sell AI art. Then we're going to get information on the best places, the best ways, where the customers are, all of that information. And our GPT, our custom GPT will be fully equipped to help anybody that is trying to make money with AI art. So I guess I can go ahead and shut these off, close these, so I won't have confusion going. Now, what is it asking? Here is the new profile for AI art. That is that's better. Okay, that's better. Okay. Okay, yeah. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to... All right, so it says, now we have the name and profile. All right, we want to make sure that it meets the expectations um could you tell me more about the type of art trends and market data it should focus on we want it to be able to pull from all generations and times uh of art history and be able to give inspiration uh to new AI artists to create great pieces similar to these based on your recommendations. What kind of language and tone should it use? It should use a friendly and human like Tone. All right. Responses should it uh previous interactions. Yes, it should remember previous interactions and always ask if they'd like to start from the beginning or pick up where they left off. Okay, so we're just basically programming it for our users that are gonna do this. So we haven't even talked about how we're gonna monetize this. You can monetize it by creating AI art for yourself as well. This can be like a little little cheat code or your uh, you know weaponry in your arsenal or something like that. Or you can charge artists a subscription for this. You can go and create like art tutorials and everything like that using this. And then in a description, uh, in the first pin comment, you can have a little cheap subscription for maybe five to $9 a, a month for it. And then how do you lock it up so that nobody else can use it? You're going to make it to where only people with a link will be able to use this. It's not going to be on a public marketplace for chat GPT. So now it's only going to be available for people that are interested in doing and making money with AI art that you send a link to. Okay, so it says, it's now set up with unique capabilities and behavior. You can start interacting on this side right here, but we have a little bit more that we need to do. So we haven't fully programmed it. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna plug this in here. And like I said, guys, you wanna take like a day maybe. While you're doing this, that way the yours can be unique. The more information you, you have that you can plug in there, Okay, uh, the better. So we say make money. So now we're focusing on making money with it. Okay, 
So you'll always be able to come back and add more knowledge. And I'm going to show you where to add that knowledge to because it has a configuration section. So we're going to copy this because we're going to upload all of this to that configuration section. And let's see. So let's get a little bit more just for the purposes of this video. Seven ways to make money, blah, blah, blah. And as you can see, we can plug in hours and thousands of hours of information. The more you plug in, the more your tool will be like a, an encyclopedia slash dictionary and everything a go-to for anything talking about AI art. That you want, that's what you wanted to be, the hub for AI art, okay? Where it can not just um, uh, create the AI art, but know the entire history of art itself and then be able to pull from that Michelangelo, Leonardo, I'm not talking about the Ninja Turtles, Rembrandt, I'm not talking about the toupees, right? <laughs> It'll be able to do all of that stuff and create some awesome art pieces. So this is going to be like super powerful, guys. I strongly suggest you guys like, you know, go ahead and build one of these for yourself, you know, using this. So now it has this, it has this capability and you can just plug in everything about art itself, everything about AI art. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this, you hear me? Um, let me see, then I'm gonna show you where to plug this in it. So let me go ahead and close this one out. Then, um, yeah, I think this is it. Like we don't need to do anything else with this image okay all right so we can close now nah, we ain't gonna close that out but what we're gonna do is we're gonna download this and then we're gonna upload it to the configure section right here and as you can see we have the prompts and all of that stuff right here or you can say which which uh which famous artists in history would you like to create uh, AI art based from, uh, inspired by, AI art inspired by. Okay, so now, as you can see there's over here now. So it'll be able to like pull from the catalog of Leonardo da Vinci and try to create some type of AI art based off of his history or something. That's unique. Nobody else is talking about that. I just gave y'all that. And uh, it won't be unique soon because there's a lot of y'all gonna watch this, hopefully. Okay, so we'll say AI art. It should pop up. AI art, AI art, where are we at? AI art, everything needed. So AI art. Agency. Here we go. There we go. So as you can see right there is, is uploading right here. And, and you can always create custom actions to automate everything, to send data to other places, to other files, communicate with other uh, software and tools like Zapier to make it do extra stuff connected to Gmails and, and all of this extra stuff, depending on what you want it to do. So like I said, you will monetize it by not making it public, make it to where only people with a link can use it. And you can like place it on a, you can you make people sign up through a, through a little funnel. And when they go to it, you can make money from ads. So this can be your free tool and you can just make money from all the traffic from ads if you don't want to charge a subscription. Like if you want it to be free, it can, you know, you don't, you don't have to charge a subscription. So you'll test it out. I haven't got to plug in, you know, any of the famous artists or anything yet, but we'll just click on this one to see if it works though. Which famous artist should I um, make art inspired by? Like, you know, okay, let's see how it works. Um, one artist, okay, so we got Vincent Van Gogh. That's cool. That's cool. His famous works like Starry Night, Sunflowers in the Bedroom exhibit striking use of color and bold swirling brushstrokes that would be could be fascinating to reinterpret in an AI art context. Okay, let's try it out. Let's see how it works. Okay, 
okay, let's try this with his famous uh, Starry Night. Make it similar, but not exactly the same using Dolly 3. Boom. So let's see if it can come up with something that's beautiful. Let's see if it can do it, baby. Let's see if it can do it. It should be creating the image. Okay. So we just got, okay. So yeah, that's where it's going. It's creating the image. And I already showed you guys the sites where you will be able to sell it. Now, I never saw the Starry Night thingy. So I'm going to copy this so we can go over to Google and see uh, Vincent Van Gogh's art piece. Uh, for Starry Night. So it's creating that image. Let's go over to YouTube. I mean, Google real quick. Starry Night painting. Oh, that one. I have seen it before. I didn't know that was the name of it. And it's trademark like a mug. You hear me? So like I said, we want it to be inspired, but not like directly like looking exactly like it. See, that looks too close. Uh-uh. That looks too close to the original we don't want to copy exactly we want to have it as an uh, inspiration make it different try again please okay yeah, because that looks too, like, close to the original. That's crazy close. No, we ain't doing all that. We ain't trying to get no lawsuits, baby. We don't want no lawsuits, baby. Okay, so let's give us a little bit of something different, right? Let's see what this GPT can do. Let's stretch the legs. You hear me? Okay, guys. I'm basically just stalling because it takes forever. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I see what it's doing now. Like it literally is still the same thing, kind of, you know. But it it created like a little like <laughs> it created a little stream or something right here. So it changed the city and stuff. The sky needs to look different as well so the sky in this little plant situation right there is still the same we need it to be a little bit more you know unique you hear me like people can still tell like i can still tell like you know it looks beautiful it's, don't get me wrong like it looked good like it, it pretty much looked better than the damn original if i'm <laughs> being honest right but you know like yeah, we don't want no we don't want no problems. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's 10 times better. Woo wee, that looked good. That looks good. So I would target people that have been interested in that right there. You understand, Sean? Interest in that. Oh, that looks that looks beautiful right there, boy. Ooh. I need to like how do I get this? Oh, okay. I can download this. You hear me? Yes. Create like a before and after, you hear me? That is beautiful. That looks good. The reflection of the sky on the water. Look at the colors right there. Oh my God, that that's crazy. You see this? It works well already. This is good. Now let me see. What's the? It gotta have some difference. Okay, so it switched up the sky. Okay, it switched up the sky enough. Yeah, it, it's enough going on to where you know it's not the exact. Uh, the exact painting. Okay, still got the freaking mountains like right there. I'll probably like come back through and change, but it didn't make the mountains exactly. And it, it switched out, the, like the town is gone and all of that stuff. Dog, yeah, this, this is completely unique. This is better than the original. I'm just being real with you. I know a lot of like old heads would be mad that I said that, but this is better than the original. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. See, these was like too close. This one was definitely too close. I had to change the sky. Now the sky and like, the, oh, that looks good. 
That looks good. Okay. So what y'all think in the chat? Like, I would buy this. Would y'all buy this? Like, would you buy that, man? That's crazy. Okay. Love y'all.